good evening or good morning and welcome to episode 4 of Daily Driving Nixos. And I finally jumped over my shadow and I decided today I'm going to do Home Manager. First I planned to do um, Hyperland with Wayland, but I realized that there are a ton of config files or other configs and it would be best if I have Home Manager installed and usable before I do more config files. So let's jump right into it, grab a coffee and relax. Just so you know, I am pretty new to this. I'm not new to Linux, but new to NixOS. And it might seem like I know what I'm doing, but I'm not. I spent hours researching and talking to ChatGPT and researching even more and Wiki and Reddit and whatever. This is not something that I just can write. I have to put a lot of time in it, so don't be discouraged. I don't know everything either. So let's jump in. The first step would be to edit the flag. Okay, and in my flag we have to add home manager. The home manager consists of the home manager URL. The home manager URL is from GitHub, Nix Community, Home Manager, and the current release 25.05. And then we have this home manager input Nix packages follows Nix packages. Not so sure what this does. I think this just registers some packages. So I saw something about this part here. When I just write this whole thing, I am pulling all those specific inputs by name so I can refer to them directly. This basically means that I can also bind the entire set to a variable that's called inputs. And this sets a local variable system that I can reuse later in the flag. I'm not sure why I read about it in a Reddit post, but this is the way that I can later build something with just one line, I'll see. I'm still confused by it. Now that we use Home Manager, we open up the module. And inside the modules, we first have the dot configuration Nix and now use the Home Manager as a Nix as module. So we use Home Manager. And inside this Home Manager module, we have the parameters. We have the home manager use user packages set to true. Then we set the user of the home manager and import the home files or the home directory. And in the end, this one is optional, but you can add a backup file extension, which then we just call home manager back closing brackets. Do I need a semicolon? Not this time, I think. Now I just want to rebuild and see if I broke something. C shell no matches found. Ugh. Now I'm just rebuilding it with my build file and see if I broke some. And immediately we have an error. Home manager Nixos module. Okay, it looks like we were missing a reference. The home manager cannot be used as a bare variable name. So we have to declare it as an input as we do with the system. So for that, we must go through a valid variable. I think just hm would probably be good enough. So we have inputs.homemanager now in modules. We have this modules that we have to add and here it would just be the module hm as declared above. Okay, it seems like I am the problem. It's called inputs, plural. I found another mistake. It is called users, also plural. Not sure why, I'm just a single user, but okay. Okay, the problem was that I had to create this home users Luix default nix and especially add it to the git. If it's not added, it cannot see it. It's now French, it's the home manager. Now with this, we should be able to build. Okay, let's have a quick recap what I did because I need it and maybe some of you need it too. So first of all, we added home manager to our flake as an input. In the outputs, we included the home manager.nixas module.home manager and we pointed it at the home users Luix default nix. And in outputs, we included the home manager nixas module and we pointed it to um, a folder directly into etc nixos that is called home slash users slash luix. And inside of here, we have the default.nix. In the outputs, we included the home manager nixos module and we pointed it to the default nix right here. We created the default nix for the user luix. As you can see here, this declares just some user details and the state version for now. The system configuration, the configuration.nix, 
still handles the core services, drivers, fonts, system packages, and even some installation like DaVinci Resolve. My next step would be to move app from the configuration.nix over to the default nix. Besides the apps, I also want to have shell customizations, dot files from the system home manager inside there. So that's the quick recap. If you want the current state of the config files to have a reference, it's all on my GitHub. Links are in the description. Okay, now we just gotta find out what we keep here and what we move over. I'm going to create a new file called packages.nix. If I could, now I can. Then we're going to edit it. So these are all the things that I put over the QO notes, Discord, Node.js, and Stow, and a lot of other things that I can install here, I think. Or at least I hope it. Now that we have the packages file done, I want to import this. That we're in the, we're in the same folder, so we just import package.nix. And I think that's it for now. So I read that I should enable XDG. So this tells the home manager to manage XDG based directories for the user, things like uh, home slash dot config or home slash dot local slash share, etc. This also enables your program's environments to reliably use the right config or home directories like home.config or home local share, especially if you switch machines. Okay, now that we have this done, we have to think about removing all the things here. Okay, these should be all the applications that I want to keep in my configuration.nix because they need to be global, or at least the internet says so. Hey, okay, I'm running into an error and we have to read what the error is. Home manager uses Luix import does not have a definition of value. Something in the store flake.nix package.nix. I think the package.nix is a problem. Let's see what the packages. No, not the packages. I think it's the default nix. Let's see what the default nix looks like. So we're importing this here. I'm always using the singular version, not the plural. So it should be imports with an S, not just import. And same thing again with packages not just package in my case oh i think i know what the problem is yeah, the packages next maybe now it works Packages discord has an unfree license unfree so yeah, i'm going to remove it from here put it discord now we rerun it. This time it works. There are some warnings about the seashell, but I will reconfigure this once I have Home Manager properly running. It has been stuck like this for a while. And I'm not sure what's happening, but I will be patient. Maybe I have to close all the applications because I think some that I moved are open right now, so I'll be right back. Oh. I see something moving. Oh, let's give it some more time then. So we have the configuration of Nix with the essentials. We have Flake with the home engine inside as output. And we have the home users, my name with all of this stuff. Let's just look at it like this. We have the packages, which are all my installed applications for the user quite a lot then we have the default.nix i'm still not really certain how this all works but i think this is enough for part one of home manager next time i plan to put all the configuration of files that i previously used in stow i want to put them all into the home manager somehow and manage them with the home manager as intended and not use stow anymore but with that we're all done so let's clear, let's fast fetch. Or is it fresh fetch? Yeah, it's fresh fetch. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the long delay. And I hope to hear from you soon. Leave comments and tips for how I should manage all the packages. If you have any ideas or inputs, that's even better. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.